What's up planner babes? It's your girl Cam and I'm back with another plan with me. Today I'm going to be planning in my Happy Planner Classic Size Faith Warrior Planner. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you will find some inspiration here and that you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can find out when I'm posting new videos right here for you. If you're already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, welcome back. Now today I'm going to be using in my Faith Warrior Planner um, probably just a couple stickers out of the LOL sticker book. I'm sure you've probably seen this. I just want to use a couple of girls, maybe some washi. We'll see how that goes. Maybe a few headers. And then I'm also going to be using this beautiful roll of washi that I hauled in a video last week. I'm ready for spring, y'all. I'm ready for spring to come on around the corner. So I'm setting up my planner with these beautiful florals just to get it ready all for the springtime. And you know, daylight savings time is on Sunday. So to me, that always signifies spring is coming soon. So I'm going to set my planner up for that. And I may dip into this really pretty American Crafts Faith sticker book to get some quotes and things out of here. All right, so if you want to see how all of this comes together, just stick around. All right, planner babes, Ooh, let's see what we can do. You know, this planner always requires some work <laughs> because of the color scheme. But I do wanna let you know that I am doing a, um, a scripture writing challenge. I don't know if it's really a challenge, but I am using a scripture writing, uh, I am following a scripture writing plan is what I'm trying to say. And it's called, I'm looking it up for you. It's called Inscribe the Word, March Scripture Writing Plan. And I'll just show it to you. I hope you can see that. And it's called Amazing Grace. And so this is what I'm gonna be using to write um, my scriptures for this planner for this month. It starts off with John 1 and 1, then it goes to Romans, James, 1 Corinthians, and it looks like they're one or two verses per day. So that should be just the right amount of scripture for me to be able to use this planner effectively. So let's get into it. The first thing I wanna do is set up my washi tape. So let me choose which ones of these beautiful flowers I'm gonna use. This is gonna be hard to decide. Whew difficult choices okay but I know for this first page I need something small just to cover up these top lines so this is very pretty so is that and then you've got this other floral here I'm not sure if I'm loving those together but let's see Mm -hmm. I want to include these roses somewhere because they are just, just beautiful. But I don't want to have to cut it down though. Let's see how these three look together. Do I like that or do I want to go with this? I think I'm feeling that combination. All right, so let's go with that. I think I'm going to set the roses across the top because they are just pretty okay so let me put my washi down and i will be right back
Okay, now that I've got my washi set up, and I think it looks really cute. Now that I got that set up, I want to work on this sidebar. So I'm going to choose a scripture or a quote from this book. So I'm going to use this. It says, you are far more precious than jewels, Proverb 31. And I'm going to put that here at the top. And then I want to find one more quote to put down at the bottom. Oh, this sticker book is so pretty. I cannot take it. Shine your light. Do not fear. I think I like the shine your light. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Hope it fits in here. That'll be horrible if it doesn't fit. Y'all pray for me now. Pray. Whew. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make it fit. We're gonna make it work. Okay, beautiful. Let's just cut a little bit of the edge off. Love it. Now, let's see if I still have room for my little planner girl. Okay, because I need to have place, I need to have space to write. I could put her over here in this corner and she would not be blocking too much space. How about that? Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I love how that looks. I need to put some headers in. So let's. I'm just going to put scripture here oops application no observation here and application down here at the bottom Let me make sure that's pretty lined up yeah that's pretty straight in all right so I think I like that a lot better so with this one um, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of white out, just because I know that these florals are gonna be transparent and I don't want this stuff to show through. So let me grab my Tombow correction tape. Now I've got everything covered up. I had to get a new Tombow because I ran out of the first one. That's fine because I had a backup. All right, so um, I definitely want to bring in some more of the roses because I really like them. So I'm going to put a header of the rose washi up top here because it's my favorite so far. Okay, and 
end. It's not super straight, but it's okay. Um, then I want to come in with, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I like this, it says I love you, but I don't want to use it. Let's see, um, I think I want to use this set across the bottom of this page. springtime goodness right here I think those are tulips and they are too cute okay so I love that and then I think I'm gonna come in with some greenery on the other side just trying to get a good look at my layout I know I'm skipping around but I gotta make sure it's looking cohesive so I'm gonna use I think I might use this greenery and the roses. So I think I'm gonna cut a little flag into it. So I really wanna include as much of those roses as I possibly can. So I'm going to use this green. Ouch, I'm gonna come back in with some roses. is very sticky y'all and I'm, I'm not mad at it but it, it is sticky <laughs> anything you anything you stick it on it's not going anywhere <laughs> that you can be sure of I haven't tried to pull it up off of the paper but it seems like the type of washi that would actually pull your paper up so be careful with it. Okay. Okay, so I love how that is coming together. Now I have this green that says, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Okay, I love it. So I'm gonna include this at the top here. Pretty. This wash and roll, y'all, Park Lane, they really did it. It is beautiful and it's so perfect for spring. And I think I'm gonna add some more of that Oh Happy Day down here at the bottom. Just to kind of tie it all together. And then I think I might bring in Oh, I forgot I had this um, courage, hope, joy. I like that. I think I'm gonna put that here in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty. Laughter. Very pretty. And I only use one of these habit trackers, so I'm probably gonna cover this second set up. more of that rose if it doesn't look too overwhelming. And 
Nope, I'm here for it. Okay. OMG, I love it. I love it. So pretty. Okay, now I'm going to come in with some, um, I need some boxes. I may have to bring in some colorful boxes. Um, and let's see what we can come up with. So I've got some gold, I've got some silver. Let's go with the gold ones. And I'm just gonna put headers up here. And what I normally do with this section is um, as my pastor is preaching, he normally has a main scripture and then he has a couple of additional scriptures that you know help to make his point and help with the teaching and the sermon for the day. So I normally put so I normally put the main scripture for the day on this page and then the subscriptures on this page and I write them out here. So that's typically how this works for me. Not every week because, you know, not every week is the same, but that is how it has been working so far. So sometimes on this page, I might have this whole page full of sermon notes, or I may have um, just half the page full, and I may put some prayer requests. Um, down at the bottom so it just kind of depends it's really um, pretty and I think this is going to be a great way for me to kick off my March Bible study so let's pop it back in the planner I think I just want to add one more quote from the um, Faith sticker book. And I think I'm going to add Amazing Grace because that is the name of the Bible study that I am using. So I'm going to put that over here in the corner. Now, this is how my week looks in my Faith Warrior classic size happy planner. I use the Park Lane Washi from Joanne Fabrics and I also use the American Crafts Faith Sticker. So here's the first page for my uh, scripture observation application and my second page for sermon notes and my faith tracker for the week. I hope you have a great week planner babes. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. See you next time.